guys, it's Deb Rayley with the Social Tech Team, and in today's lesson, we are going to go through two super important steps when it comes to building your audience organically. The first thing we're going to talk about is making sure that your content is being seen among your friends. Why is this important? Well, the way the algorithm works, if you and your friend are not engaging with each other regularly on the platform, then every time you post, the odds of them seeing your content decreases even further. So we want to be sure we give a quick boost uh, into the system so that your content starts to be seen a little more broadly among your friends. The second thing we're going to talk about is virtually networking. Because we know that when you're virtually networking and when you're putting someone else's business needs in front of your own, um, then what happens is a reciprocal relationship and your audience starts to grow because you are being a good friend to someone else. So we're going to talk about those two steps. Guys, this is a long step process. This is not something you're going to knock out in a day. And I really encourage you to take baby steps on this one. All right, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your own friends list on your page. Now, obviously, the higher number you have, the longer this is going to take because we're going to be doing some private messaging, but we are not going to private message everyone in five seconds. You need to space this out. So maybe plan to do 10 a day, 20 a day, but space it out at least in like 15 minute increments. We don't want anyone to get into Facebook jail. So what you want to do is go through all of your friends and figure out which ones are those friends that are not in business with you. So if they are not in the same direct selling business as yours, then those are the people you want to message. If they are in your direct selling business, then those are people you're not going to send this message to. So for example, here's a friend of mine, it's my next door neighbor. She is not in business with me, so I'm gonna send her a message. Now, you might be wondering, well, what is the message you're going to send? So I've pre-crafted this message and I've inserted emojis and I've used emojipedia.org to grab some of the emojis. And I'm not saying this is exactly what yours needs to say, but this is what mine is going to say. So the message that I'm sending, it's customized to each person. So the first part says hi and it has a little waving emoji and it has their name, so I customize it. Then the next sentence or section, this is something that I customize for every message. So the first part does say checking out on my friends, hope all is okay in your home. And then here I'll add a sentence or two that is specific to that person. This really keeps it from feeling like it's a canned message that's being sent to all of my friends because it is speaking specifically to the last connection or last uh, memory that I have of having a conversation with them. So in this case, I know she has kids. I'm asking if they're doing okay, asking how homeschool is going, asking how her son is because I knew he had been sick. So this is a very personal statement. Then I go on to say that this or may or may not apply to you. I just simply don't know anymore. And from here, I go in to say, things change so quickly, although it feels painfully slow in quarantine, that I just can't keep up with which of my friends own their own business or side gig, and I want to support as many as I can right now. I'm putting together a calendar, so every day I'm highlighting, sharing, and showcasing, and as I can, shopping from my friends with small business. So if you have your own business or a side gig at the moment, please send me your links. Tell me about it. I want to support you as best I can. You may or may not recall, I own my own small business and totally feel the strains just like all of my small business friends. So here, I'm not mentioning the name of my business. I'm not dropping my link because you know what, guys? They're my friend. They can click on my profile and they can go and see on my About section my different business pages. And if you've done that part, as you should have, then it should be updated. Aside from this, is there anything I can do? Is there any way I can pray for you? So this is the message that I'm going to be sending uh, to all of my friends. Now, there's multiple facets to this. Yes, I genuinely want to know because with these particular times that we're in, there are people who've picked up side gigs. There are people who've let go of side gigs. There are people who've started completely different businesses. So I want to know who's doing what. And then once I have that information, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it because we're going to use that information again tomorrow in tomorrow's lesson. But for today, I'm going to send this message to my friends that are not in the same business that I'm in and I'm going to give them a, a, some time to respond. 
And then as they respond every day, I'll say, okay, well today I'm going to lift up Lauren and I'm going to do a post on my business page in my, and then I'm going to share it to my group and I'm going to share it to my um, public, um, my uh, personal profile from my business page. I want to share her information with as many people as possible because you know what guys, when you are doing good things and kind things uh, for your friends who are in small business, that will come back to you. Okay. And when, when I mention in the message, I own my own small business, I'm not going to put my link there. I'm not going to tell them what it is. They can come to my profile, right? Because remember there was an exercise we did uh, a while back. Let me remind you that, um, we said, Hey, be sure that you go here into your about section and you update your work and education and you put your business pages in here. So when they say, oh, I wonder what her small business is, they can come here and click on it and it takes them to my stuff. So you wanna be sure you've updated that if you haven't already. All right, so today we're just going to send these messages, all right? And once we find out who is in small business and what they're doing, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna leverage that tomorrow um, in a different way. So that's today's assignment, just sending out some messages and figuring out who out there among your, your friends is doing what? This is going to be important to know. All right. So guys, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask and good luck. Take your time doing this. We don't want anybody in Facebook jail. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.